Hello to all those who are new to this channel and welcome back to those who are tuning in again. For this video, I'm going to introduce myself to anyone who might be new to this channel and to answer some questions that you guys have submitted on Twitter for this Q&A. So who am I? My name is Ethan and I am a student at Texas Christian University who loves to play, write, and produce music. Whether it's through singing, playing the marimba, ramming beats on a snare drum or drum set, strumming a guitar or ukulele, or mixing my next track on FL Studio. And now, on to the Q&A. Let's see what we got. All right. At Gaming Lulzy asks, what pushes you to continue music and who inspired you to start music? Well, as far as who inspired me to start music, I think there are two different things because there's starting music in percussion and there's starting things as in production wise. So as far as percussion goes, because that came first, um, I just loved drumming. I was a kid who grew up on 80s hair band influences from my dad and kind of metal drumming from my older brother. He really loved listening to metal music. and. Um, when I was in fifth grade, we got Guitar Hero World Tour, and so I got pretty good, don't mean to brag, on the drum set, and I felt like I really wanted to explore this more, especially in school, and the only thing that could, you know, further that was percussion classes, and um, I remember when the teachers came and auditioned us on different instruments, I tried the French horn and um, I could not get a sound out of the mouthpiece and I was too embarrassed for anyone else to have me try anything else and so I just said I'm going to wait for the percussion guy straight up and the rest is history <laughs> here I am <laughs> and as far as the music production side and producing music um, I really got hooked into watching videos from this account called Aces to Aces and this guy was basically a meme account of FL Studio where he would make a lot of stereotypical genres and it was hilarious and I wanted not necessarily to recreate that but even though they were really funny you know joke tutorials I got a lot of information from them and so I drew from him and that that's what really sold me to start you know actually producing it and buying software so I actually started out with FL Studio mobile for the phone I used it on like a little tablet computer and my first couple of songs were really dicey but um, it there it's you got to start somewhere right and then eventually later on I got sold into um, uh, the full version of FL Studio and as far as who inspires me to or pushes me to continue music a really big part of it is you guys really I do like to to check in on on people who who comment things and they say really nice things on my covers and it's, I'm just kind of blown away because of all the support that I get and it's still crazy how you know my how my channel is growing at a rate that I didn't think it would ever hit <laughs> and so I really thank you for for all that you do for me and and, and keep pushing me keep pushing me <laughs> At Will Proctor 2 asks, as a big fan of your music, oh, thank you, Will, <laughs> appreciate it. I'm curious as to your process in making a song. How long does it usually take for a song to be fully produced? Now, that's a real tough one. Um, as far as the process goes, I don't know really know who's what people who listen who watch my videos. I don't know what they do, but I'd love to start maybe series of where I break down some of the project files to show you like my actual process plugins and things that I use on my different tracks in you know in different genres too because I do a lot of really weird different things uh, but as far as how long does it take for a song to be fully produced I'm sorry to be so complicated but it varies all the time uh, because sometimes it's just covers of a song that I already know so it's just a matter of me figuring out chords and uh, just kind of or maybe it's even just singing along to a karaoke track and sometimes you know what I do what I, how I fully produce it's a huge multi instrumental thing like uh, my Street Fighter cover I recorded so many things in that in that video you know bells I had ukulele I did my vocals I did a bunch of kicks and snapping and stomping and it's just crazy how much uh, I'm getting better at being more efficient and to using my time wisely and, and trying to, to accomplish more things in a shorter time but it just it really varies. It, it, it all depends. <laughs> but thanks for asking. 
at Christy Gurley asks, one, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> and two, are you ever thinking about trying out DJing? Well, for the first question, that's very simple. It's a no, <laughs> not currently. And um, about DJing, well, as far as being like an act actually having a turntable with, you know, the, the discs and, you know, scratching the discs and all that, that kind of DJing, not really. Um, but one of my newest toys that I have acquired recently is this. It's a Novation Launchpad S. And this tool is really awesome in a way that it not only can you control MIDI and, and do some stuff with that, but um, it's also connected to FL Studio in a performance mode way. So I can program my songs to be triggered within these many buttons that are on this controller. It's, it's small, but it packs a lot. And um, with that, I can, you know, do live looping of different songs that I have. And so if y'all checked out my latest cover of Ray Brown's Hold Me, I use this in that exact same way where I'm triggering different patterns of the song that I recreated. I recreated that song, mapped it all out on, no on the Novation Launchpad, and I just played it and sang along with it. And with, I was really thinking about going more towards that. It's, that's not necessarily DJing, but it's just... Uh, I've really wanted to try and perform live more vocally wise. I've never really, I haven't really performed much singing in, in a public sense, uh, but I really want to get more into that. And I feel that this, this launch pad would really help me create a live set to where I can um, control every aspect of my music, the electronic parts of my music and make it more like a performance. Uh, so yeah, that's, it's, what I want to do. <laughs> and last but not least, at Pioneer Perk, Go Diamondbacks asks, when will we be premiering Working Title by Ethan Height, commissioned by the Pioneer High School Percussion Ensemble? Now that is a great question. <laughs> I hope it's soon. Um, I have a lot of stuff working under the hood right now, a lot of projects. Uh, Probably the biggest one right now that I'm dealing with is a marimba solo with some uh, with a tape recording behind it. I'm very excited to finish that one, and it's going along swimmingly. But um, I really hope that we can coordinate something soon. And if you have any ideas of what kind of uh, a certain kind of picture that you want me to to, to paint with uh, with my writing, I'd I'd love to to bounce off ideas for what you want and to to commission something. I'd love to, to come back to my alma mater and, and see, you know, my name on that program for the Percussion Ensemble concert. <laughs> It'll, it would be surreal and really crazy. Uh, and a quick shout out to the Pioneer Percussion Ensemble because they are going to PASIC. And I am so excited to, to hear about their performance and, and to hear about all the great accomplishments and to see everyone having fun over there. I, I really wish you all the best. And um, it's, it's been awesome, and I really thank you guys for your support. I'm rooting for you all the way here in, in, in Fort Worth, and uh, I miss you guys a lot. And um, thank you so much for everything, and, and thanks for the question. And that is all the questions we have. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who reached out. I loved answering it. I had really fun doing this. felt weird, but I, it's, cool, it's cool to do this, and I hope we can do this again soon. Um, I really thank you all for all your time. Again, my music can be found anywhere. Uh, also, my sheet music. If, uh, if you ever follow me on Bandcamp, I have my sheet music available for merchandise, and I'm always writing new stuff, so stay tuned for new releases through DistroKid and new releases on Bandcamp. I can't wait to show you all what I have in store next. Again, I hate being a broken record, but I can't thank you guys enough for all of your support. Make sure to stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, and I'll see you guys for the next video. God bless.